Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mark Melbourne. Um, I've got a video for you guys on how to go about researching stocks and the different tools you can use to uh, look at the different sort of factors and um, considerations to make when you're looking at a stock. So I'm going to use one that I've researched recently and this one is Fast Bricks Robotics. So, um, this is a on the speculative uh, low uh, small cap side of things. So um, let's start here. So what I normally do when I come across a stock and I want to do a bit of research on it is uh, just give me a second. That's better. So all right. So uh, I'll quickly search up the company that I'm looking for, assuming that you've um, you've come across and you've done some industry search, you've found some suggestions and you wanna do research on the company, right? So um, I would search up Fast Bricks Robotics here. The stock price, pretty interesting. Straight away, I'd bring up the website. So I've already brought that up here for you guys. Um, and then next, I'd jump into news, just read some of the most recent titles. Um, you don't have to go all the way back, but it's good to see where or what's the latest development for it. So. <clears throat> Excuse me guys, if I do cough throughout the video, I've got a bit of a uh, dry cough going on at the moment that I can't quite shake, so. Uh, anyway, so this is Fast Brick Robotics. So just quickly for you guys, um, the concept is um, they've developed a machine called the Hadron X. Uh, it is a brick laying machine. Um, and the idea is to quickly build a house using robots rather than um, labor so the thing that draw my interest to this and um, shout out to uh, the cultured Australian um, check out his channel he is uh, a good friend of mine that suggested this stock um, and I did a bit of research and this is what I what I normally do so um, you know check out the website look out the look at the tech um, have a read through it. This one's got a video. They've got quite a good website. Um, yeah, under about us, find out what you can about the team. Um, search up the uh, the lead person in LinkedIn if you have to. Check out the investors. Um, just get a feel for what they do exactly. Um, and if it's not immediately clear, then that's probably a bit of a red flag. Next thing you do. Um, and I know some of you guys don't necessarily use Commonwealth, it's just the stock um, broker that I use. And I understand that the platform isn't going to be ideal for everyone, but uh, it's just the platform I've got. So uh, you'll be able to find this information, whoever you're with, but uh, what I tend to look at is just very briefly, um, uh, finding out what the market cap is. So if I go through here, you can see the market cap is $160 million. So anything under, I'd say $400 million is generally quite a small um, small company, but 160 is probably at the sweet spot. Anything less than say 30, 40 million is getting really speculative, like um, resource material type stocks. So after that, I'd go into announcements, um, look at, you know, set up all and look at the last two years uh, I'd bring up a couple of these statements so for example um, global partnership agreement um, and what's this quarterly report not to not gonna look at that but this one's a big one so FBI extends memorandum of understanding with Caterpillar so anyone in construction knows that Caterpillar is a huge company so that's a big deal um, they've uh, they've got um, some funding that they've invested. I think they've invested $2 million already into Fast Break. Considering it's $160 million, uh, market cap, that's quite a big deal. Uh, I'm not going to go into these too much, but you want to see these ones with the ticks. Generally, they're the market-sensitive ones, um, and you want to at least go through the last 12 months or so to get a better understanding of where your company's at. Uh, this is a global partnership agreement with... Uh, Wayne Burger AG. I, I haven't actually read this to be honest, but um, suddenly read through FBI extends memorandum of understanding again with Caterpillar. Massive. So 
Um, other thing I do is uh, Google AdWords. So having Google Keyword Planner is quite interesting. So what I did is I've searched up first brick robotics, brick laying robots. Um, and this will give you sort of an idea of some of the search results and similar results to get a better understanding of what other keywords are being found, what results come up. Uh, and the fast bricks, just quickly so I can show you guys. <clears throat> And apologize if I'm going through this quickly, but I um, just want to cover most of the content. So uh, here you can see a big title. So um, Caterpillar has taken a new option in Australia's one-armed race. Uh, and that's this article here by um, Business Insider. So uh, basically says that They've got an option to buy 10 million or 13.5 million uh, FastBix robotic shares um, until the end of January 2019. So that's a pretty big deal that since they've already invested $2 million. Um, another thing I would do is, for example, so if I'm looking up a company and you know I'm trying to figure out what terms people would be searching up, um, Google Keyword uh, helps um, in this sense. So. I've come up with, you know, fast brick robotics, brick laying robots. Um, good example here is construction robotics, for example, brick laying robot. Um, Hadron fast brick robotics, that's the name of their actual um, prototype that they've created. Uh, if you look up fast brick robotics on the news, you can see um, the Hadron X. There was also a memorandum memorandum of understanding with uh, Saudi Arabia, the Prince of Saudi Arabia. So that was a pretty big deal. Um, another thing I do look at is Google Trends. So whatever industry or term you're looking up, you want to see, um, and this is gonna, this is not gonna be the only deciding factor, but it's gonna be um, a way to paint a, a bigger picture, right? So. When you're looking at this, uh, I've searched up robotic bricklayer in Australia. We can see the results had a bit of a peak just after 2016 or probably early 2017. It's dropped off again, but I think the interest is increasing. Um, if I change this to Australia, last five years, uh, we can see the results have picked up a little bit, but also this term is pretty uh, I guess specific. So if we look up construction, uh, construction row bot, this will give us another picture. Maybe construction robotics. All right, so we've got some results here. We can see this has gone up, slight search results. Um, and here's a perfect example that I came up with. So Look, Nutella Donut, you know, what's going on here? A little bit of interest, a little bit of interest, and then there was a big pickup here. The highest point was around August 2015, and then there was a big drop, and, you know, ever since it's really took a plunge into late 2016, and it had a little bit of interest again, but relatively compared to that period, things have dropped off. So what do you know? When did Nutella, so Nutella Donut first, uh, here we go. The year of Nutella went nuts, 2015. So what does that say? That says that uh, the trend for Nutella Donuts hit its peak in 2015. There's news that confirms it. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Another one that I looked at was, so there's something called a float. Mm, flotation tank. So if, for anyone who hasn't heard of it, ID is it's, uh, it, it's a huge tank. You get undressed, um, the, the bathtub or tank completely uh, closes um, because of the amount of, I think it's salts. Um, you've got so much Epsom salt in there and uh, I think from memory, correct me if I'm wrong, that helps you float. So that became a big f f uh, fad, and I think that's really dropped off in terms of interest, but floating tank. Sorry, flotation tank. It's 
So in Australia, it's actually trending up and still trending up, which I found pretty interesting. But if we look at worldwide, we can see that overall there was big interest uh, mid-2016. And while it's slowly trending up, there's not too much. So um, sometimes I like to use Google Trends to get a better understanding of the interest and how that's changed over time and where we're at. So um, a good one, for example, would be augmented reality or um, virtual reality where there was big interest and you're not sure where things are at. Uh, so that's one little thing that I do. I've also got Hrefs, which is a tool that I use um, and I've paid for. I think it's a little over $100 and I use this for SEO um, and also uh, use it to find search volume. So for example, um, I've typed in FBR here and I won't go over this too much because I know a lot of you guys won't have this, but I've searched up the term um, typed in organic keywords, gone through this and looked at terms that are ranking for um, fast brick robotics. So you've got, you know, robot brick layer, fast brick robotic share price, construction robot, that gives you ideas. So if, for example, I wanted to check uh, robot brick layer and just search that up uh, in Australia, you can see Australia built bricklaying robot, Australian company revolutionized this. Um, and you can see if the company has competition, who else is in that space at the moment? And I guess, just give me a second. Yeah, so who else is in that space? Um, who are the, the direct competitors? Uh, what else is going on? What's the latest news? Um, is there a lot of news in recent months? Um, was there a steady flow of interest or is this something that, you know, maybe a hedge fund has an interest in and they've just bought up their shares, they want you to start buying so they can sell into you. Um, so that's something to watch out for. But anyway, I hope that was somewhat useful. Um, that's sort of the research process that I go through. I know there's um, the technical side, so you know price earning ratios, market cap, um, and a whole lot of other factors here that you know more technical people might be interested in. Um, you got dividend stability, dividend yield, um, quick uh, ratio, which is I think the asset to liability ratio, um, and then you've got charts. So, Looking at this in the last five years, you can see there was big interest in 2016, big interest in 2017. It's leveled up, but it's at a low price in the last 12 months. So I might actually look at buying around 14 cents here because I think it's a pretty promising stock. But yeah, I want to make a segment um, and I've discussed this with uh, a couple of friends. We might actually come up on a different channel, um, IDs for stocks, so small caps particularly, and we're gonna come up with our research, um, why we think it's promising. Obviously, nothing's guaranteed, especially on the um, speculative side of things, but it might give you guys uh, a little insight into our thinking and how we would actually go through, um, you know, researching or getting a better understanding of whether stocks is worth investing in. So, all right, uh, I'm just gonna leave it that. And, you know, I'm not saying to purchase fast brick robotics. Um, I'm not a financial advisor, but yeah, I, this is something that I've, I've found particularly interesting. Um, with material or resources, you don't really know what's going on. Um, this is a, a real product solving a, a real problem in my opinion. So that's why it's brought an interest to my attention. But anyway guys, hope you enjoy these videos. Please uh, hit the like button, um, drop a comment and tell me 
uh, some stocks that you guys have actually uh, come across and you know any stock ideas that you think might be worth checking out all right peace see you guys